What's going on y'all, what's going on, what's going on? Listen, I'm back with yet another video. For those of you who are already subscribed, you already know what it is. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, welcome, what you can find here are talks about Maka Root, how to maintain slash gain weight, product reviews, skincare reviews slash hacks, and just how to blow the heck up in general, all right? Let's get into it. Now my skin is doing some things that I don't like, so just disregard that as we discuss what we're about to discuss. I did not put on makeup for that reason, okay? So please bear with me. I am human. I don't know what the heck is going on. Process of elimination. We gonna, we gonna figure it out. Let's get into it. I watched, I think it was Elle, Saweetie's morning routine. And she talked about a lot of things, but specifically lemon and how she uses it as a deodorant. So I was like, wait a minute, what? Cause I don't perspire like crazy. Like I don't have, you know how some people sweat so much that they have the wet stains in their clothing and under their pits and whatnot. I don't really have that issue, but definitely I have to wear deodorant for, well I thought because of odor. Okay, so when I saw Saweetie's video talking about how she uses lemon juice instead of deodorant and how it works, I was like, wait a minute, I have to try this. In addition to using it as a deodorant though, she said that after using it for quite some time, it also lightened her armpits. So I was like, okay. Now y'all know that I have talked about lemon juice before, a long time ago, using it as a spot treatment on the face, but then after watching videos and whatnot, I heard that that's not the ideal thing to do. If you are going to use lemon juice on your face as a spot treatment, I highly suggest that you use just a tiny amount. See how your skin reacts to it. Do it at night instead of in the morning. Use sunscreen in the morning and literally do it once in a blue. I wouldn't even say do it several times a week, nothing like that, if you are going to do it. But lemon juice is known to fade dark marks and dark areas. So I went ahead and I tried it, okay? And I will definitely update you, but so far I don't smell anything. And I literally just started it, so I'll have to come back and update you consistently. This is literally the first day. And I went out, ran errands, ran to the post office. Thank you for your modestly lavish orders and whatnot. So everything has been good. Speaking of that, you all are buying either the bundles I see the most or the smaller bottles, the 50 milliliter bottles. But I do want you to know, because I didn't advertise it like that, that I do have the plastic maca root bottles available for $10 a piece. After I sell out of what I have, then that's it. I've moved on to glass bottles, but for those of you who are interested in trying it to see what the product is like, I do actually have $10 bottles in stock. But I noticed that even after I announced that, people still buy the smaller bottles, the glass ones. But if you're interested, those are available for $10. Great stocking stuffers. The bottle I just didn't love, which is why I moved on to the glass. Just throwing that out there, it's available. But back to the lemon juice. First of all, it smells like lemon, it smells really good. So in comparison to the Kojic Acid Soap, immediately after I put the lemon on my underarm, it started to burn. I attribute that to the fact that I was scrubbing really hard because because I don't want odor to be there, I kind of go in on my underarms, right? So I think I scrubbed a little too hard, thus causing the burning. If you do have sensitive skin, then you don't want to leave the lemon juice on for too long. And you do want to test a small area before doing so, before you know putting it on there and applying it and letting it sit. But I literally cut the lemon and I cut off, not a slice, a little more than a slice, and I rubbed it on my underarm and Saweetie said that she leaves it on for 15 minutes. You want to apply it to clean underarms and she then washes it off. So I did just that. I set my alarm, left it on for 15 minutes 
And then after that, I was like, you know what? My elbows with it, my knees, dark marks that I have on my body. I went ahead and put it everywhere, to be honest with you. Uh, this was after showering and whatnot. Then I went back in, rinsed everything off. And when I was done, I then went in with my coconut oil over the underarms. I also put lemon juice on the bikini line, just the line. Don't go putting it on your, your other situations and burning up your stuff. I never did say that. Okay, I literally just put the lemon juice on, I rubbed it on the bikini line. So I did it on the marks on my body, bikini line, and the underarms. And so far, I still smell good, but I didn't do any, I haven't done any vigorous, vigorous activity today either. Went to the post office, like I said, ran a couple errands. I haven't exercised yet today. So I can't say that it really, really, really works until I exercise and all that and really see what happens. So there is that. So the Kojic acid soap now, after, a, I wanna say a few minutes, after seven minutes I left it on for, that's when it started to burn. So with both, if you have sensitive skin, proceed with caution. And in addition to that, you may not wanna leave it on for as long as I did. With the Kojic acid soap, after several minutes, I felt the burn. It wasn't immediate. Whereas with the lemon juice, it was immediate. That's just my experience. Both have a citrus scent. I mean, it's lemon juice, it's a citrus, it's a citrus fruit. So there's that. Both have a citrus scent. Both, in fact, I know for a fact, because I've used lemon juice, like I said, on other areas, both do in fact lighten dark marks. And so I still say that Kojic Acid Soap is a really, really, really good thing to use. You just, have to, you just have to be careful with it. I still believe that this lemon juice is going to in fact work wonders, but I just have to give it some more time and I will update you all. So with the shakes, I haven't been having three a day just because I've been working and I hadn't brought or brought my own shake or anything like that to drink throughout the day, but definitely eating throughout the day, having my three meals a day, I've been on top of that. And I have been able to maintain, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, uh, and honestly, when I run out of this protein powder, I will not be purchasing it again, just because I still love the Orgain the most. I love all the ingredients in, in it. I love that it's plant-based. It doesn't have caffeine. This Vega one does. There's just so much that I love about the Orgain. And yeah, I just wanted to try this out to see what would happen. Honestly, I can say that it does help you in fact gain weight, the protein powder. It is something that I won't be purchasing again. I don't love the aftertaste. At first I was like, oh, this ain't bad. Kind of has a coffee taste or whatever. But there's a weird aftertaste. I guess it's because of the stevia and the combination of other things. I don't know but I don't love this protein powder. It does have maca root powder in it. Hey, it's $6, you may wanna try it. Let me know if you do try it, how you like it, but it's not for me. So in a nutshell, I do feel like Kojic acid soap and lemon juice are still both very good. I'm trying to lean more towards natural products in general. So after I did all of that and washed off the lemon juice, I went in, like I said, with my coconut oil. I put it on the bikini line and under my arms. I did my mango butter and shea butter all over my body. And then I also did some coconut oil. And I let that kind of dry and absorb before putting on my clothing so that it doesn't leave too many of the, the marks from the, the residue of the oil and the butter all over my clothing. So I do kind of let that dry first because it does get a little bit greasy. A little bit of mango butter, shea butter, coconut oil, y'all, it goes a long way. And so, like I said, I put that all over my body. The shea butter that I've actually been using is from 1816 Supply. It actually does melt a lot better than other shea butters I've used. Easy to absorb into the skin. I do love it. And I will leave the link in the description for the shea butter as well. So like I said, I'm just trying to lean more towards like natural, products and ingredients as opposed to going out and buying a lot of products because before I would whatever I just buy 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 all these things when I'm like yo let me stick to my which I need to get back on 
sea moss, okay? Because remember, when I was using that sea moss, no issues. Everything was glowed the heck up. And I'm gonna get back on it. I'm about to make another batch, <laughs> consume it, and put it on my face as a mask. I'm not playing. So I just wanted to give y'all the update of everything going on. I'll most definitely be back with more. I will be really, really excited if this lemon juice works the way that I want it to continuously because, I mean, lemons, to buy a bunch of them, it's cheap, it's natural, and to be smelling like lemon under there or nothing at all under there, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So I'll definitely let y'all know, I. If you feel so inclined, please do like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Like I said, I'll be back with more videos very soon. Thanks for tuning in and uh, holla!